and comment. And most importantly, subscribe. It's not 35. Don't be in your vlog. Oh, stay hydrated. Never been thirsty. You know what it is, baby. We back. 935. It's that time, baby. Broke beer in the vlog. Yes, sir. Look, today I'm gonna have these two situations that kind of sort of run hand in hand, but they don't. But they got one person that's in common in both of them, right? One is I met Terrell Owens. Third and goal. Garcia off the play fit, rolling right, has the touchdown, Terrell Owens. Where's it going? <laughs> right to the center of the stadium. Yeah, T.O. As you can see, I'm a big time 49er fan. Always has, always will be. Raising 49er fans. A birth 49er fans, you know what I'm talking about? So, I met T.O. at the Waffle House. And guess what I found out? His middle name needs to be me off, right? <laughs> First name Jack, last name me off. Anyway, other situation is I watched a girl try to cut a nigga face off. Kill me. What? You didn't have to kill me. I didn't kill you, dirty little pervert. <laughs> Give me your goddamn car keys before I cut your pecker off. <laughs> that won't feel very good, will it? He sure is bloody. Stupid, he's cute. I'm talking about, boy, Club Sharkies. What y'all know about Club Sharkies, Montgomery, Atlanta Highway, huh? Yeah, it's going down. It's a broke beer in their vlog. You know how we get down, huh? Shut up. R4 Entertainment. He did it on the ones and two. It's going down. Watch you see, and you hear and see things you never heard of before. How's my man so lucky? How's my man so blessed? I'm broke being in that vlog. Will be never be a vlog like it. True story. Let's go. How the live is free. The live is family. They say I was blessed to meet so many celebrities. I say so many celebrities were blessed to meet me. Yeah. It's me. It's close. Yes, I have a lot of stories, but that's not what it's about. You got to witness live redemption. Yes, some of those stories got me living how I am in the present. I watch me unwrap my gift, open the box. And step out into the future. It's me. Bro. It's the book billionaire vlog. Welcome to Champ Mountain. Look. We back. You know where we at? Champ Mountain in the, the Himalaya. <laughs> yeah. Sit back here. Me and my homegirl Pam, call her Queen P, Pat Mela, you know what I'm talking about? Uh, our birthdays around it, close to each other. I want to say hers was the 25th. I might be wrong. I might have been the. Anyway, hers was late January, mine was early February. So we always, several times we had parties together, right? So we both were working at Bomb House. Shout out to our whole Bomb House crew, Wings back then, Wings Bomb House. Just changed the Bomb House now. Shout out to y'all, right? And we had a party at this uh this white girl house, right? And uh man, it was, it, was, it was a blast, right? It was the first time I ever pit money on myself. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people pit money on their birthday to get money. And I didn't pit money on it. My homegirl Pam pinned the 20 on me. And I ended up with like 250. Like you know what I'm saying? But anyway, first and last time I pit money on myself. Well, I didn't pin on myself if I had money pent on me. But anyway. So we're having a party, right? And uh, there's a lot of people there, but it was kind of stagnant in a way. People just drinking and talking. My homeboy, Adam Rose. Hey, Rose. That's my dude, man. Hey, damn, as we call him. 
he uh that's my brother like you know i ain't seen him in i don't know how long but he always had the same amount of love for me like that dude good dude that's you know what i'm saying uh church gangster like a nigga kill you pray over you and go home and eat supper you know what i'm talking about that type of cat right <laughs> Who wants dessert? So he he don't drink, smoke, he didn't do none of that stuff. So when he come to parties, he always brought women with him. You know what I'm talking about? And this particular time, he brought like two carloads of women, like always. And then, like I said, party was kind of stagnant as far as, you know, jumping, like, you know, dancing and stuff. I'll never forget, man, he went to the car and got uh, mystical. Hotel spent the whole day getting loaded. It's right? Puff, puff, I smell smoke. What I tell you, that nigga jumped the party all I'm talking about. It went from stagnant to white water rafting. You know? I'm talking about now. I'm talking about we was jumping like, like I said, he was smoking nothing, but he know good music and man, he knew what it took to get the party going. Shout out to Adam, man. He got the party going. But anyway. One of the young ladies that was with him that night, Darcy the Chopper young lady, man, pretty, uh, was jamming the whole night, right? Get down, so she kind of stood out. She put them cheeks on everybody. Anybody want some cheeks, she give them to you. Mm -hmm. You want some cheeks? I said, it's all that fucking nigga do your thing. I said, cheeks, nigga, you go cheeks. Chug cheek, right? So, you know, I got me a couple cheeks from her, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like I said, people understand, man, that booty shake days was the best energy in music, hip hop. There was, you know what I'm talking about? I'm talking about, man, it just party. And then, and, and got lap dances from women. Like standing lap dances is basically what it was. You know what I'm talking about? And he was hunchback. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, so, that night, it was me and my boy Disco. What up, Disco? Yeah. My nigga Dedrick, man. Uh, man, we, I don't know. It was a, a party that came in with me and him, man. We was tight, real tight. And then I think. The certain entity came in, man, and, and kind of disrupted our friendship, man. I want you to know, Disco, never had nothing against you, never will, man. I got love for you, a lot of love for you, man. You my dude, man. We did a lot. You know what I'm talking about? You know what we did. You know what I'm talking about? You know, I got a chance to work with him again at uh, Twin Peaks, man, but it just wasn't the same because, you know, like I said, it was like a certain entity, man, that, and I know, I feel like I know what it was. And she, it was a she, and she was a dope producer. But I think she just some just some just some said some things that weren't true or did something. Cause anyway, disco man to man, man. Never had nothing against you, bro. Love you, bro, man. We did a lot together, man. We had fun, B. Disco was the party. Now he was on another party, like my dude G nut. Another dance, get down, ain't ashamed, get loose, let's go. You know what I'm talking about? That's how you was. So. Anyway, so we had to part me, Pam, and Disco. We had a, a pack. Whoever got the drunkest, you know what I'm talking about, had to, had to buy breakfast. You know, at the Waffle House and shit, right? So, uh, to be honest with you, I can't remember who was the drunkest. We probably all was drunk. So we probably just bought our own food. I just can't really remember, right? But Disco was so funny because I'm going to tell you how life works. And, and my life. My man Disco was, you know, talking bad about the Niners. You know what I'm talking about? And, uh... T.O., you know what I'm saying? And <laughs> so we go to the Waffle House. We sitting there, motherfucker, eating toe up, drunk. And uh, I see my homegirl, who was like a sister to me, like real talk. She's more of a sister than a homegirl, right? Got the initials of this right here. That's her initials. You know what I'm talking about? She's like wearing my jacket. Like I said, it was her initials, man. Love you to death. You already know who you are. I don't want to say that because I'm not sure you want me to. But you know how that go. So uh, I see her. So she come over to the table. What's going on? I was, What's up, baby? Da, 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 da. She said, you know, I'm with a 49er right now. I said, what? Yeah, 49er right there. I said, who? She said, Terrell. Terrell Owens. I said, what? Because he looked that big. Like, you know, he's doing the football field. He looked that big. So, I, you know, me, I really, I'm plus I'm tipsy anymore. <laughs> I need to go up. What's up, nigga? You know what I'm saying? Like, he's the homie. You know what I'm saying? He was cool though. He was real cool. He was the first cat I seen with the uh, the Cadillac SUV. You know what I'm talking about? I've never i never seen it or heard of it, but he's the first one I seen with it. You know what I'm talking about? So we had the Waffle House chilling. So I go speak to him, talk to him. And I said, Yeah, my dude right here, bad against you, da da da. My nigga just gonna be like, Nah, man, I didn't. 
crazy chicken. <laughs> but he did. But I shouldn't put him on a spot like that. You know what I'm talking about? That's not even my intention. I don't know why I did that dumb shit, but I did it. <laughs> He'll talk bad about the nine and then. You got your mind? But anyway, he was a cool cat though. To be totally honest with you. I end up, he's only, out of all the celebrities I met, he's one of the few I asked for an autograph. You know what I'm talking about? And uh, he signed it on the Waffle House back then, right? And uh, it was funny because, so, you know, the encounter was kind of brief, you know what I'm talking about? Maybe five, ten minutes at the most. We sat there and chopped it up with them. And then uh, we left and they left. I can't remember what I did the rest of that night. All I do was <laughs> I called my homegirl like the next day or maybe two days later. And she was telling me about her night with Torello. You know what I'm saying? T.O. She's like, uh, yeah, I came to the crib. Spent the night basically at the crib with her. And of course she's trying to get him some because she's a very attractive young lady. But she couldn't do nothing because it's that time of the month, right? So she said she told him that and he was like, cool. So she said she rolled over in the bed. is in the bed together. So she rolled over and tried to go to sleep. She said the bed started shaking. Like, what the bed going on? So she turned around and nigga full stroke. You know what I'm talking like a machine, right? So she looked at him. She looked at him, he looked at her like, and he's like, "You want to watch?" And you know what I'm saying? She was like, "Yeah." You know what I'm saying? So she watched. She watched him, uh, you know, pleasure himself until he, until he, uh, you know, got him one. You know, basically, blast it off, boom, 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 you know what I'm talking about? Said they went to sleep like a baby, right after fat. Thumb in his mouth, I gotta go, go, right? And it's funny because I was like, you want to watch? But I get it, because if it was, I was in the bed with a female, and that same situation happened, and she said, you want to watch? I'm like, hell yeah, I want to watch, you know what I'm talking about? So, I get it, you know what I mean? But, I said, that's why you got good hands. Hands be sticky all the time. <laughs> T.O. dropped a lot of balls, though. For people who keep it 100, he dropped a lot of balls. That's why I didn't understand how he was dogging on his quarterback, but he caught everything. Now, he was vicious when he caught the motherfucker and got the running, but he dropped a lot of balls. He did. But yeah, so I met T.O. Like what I'm saying, when I tell you in my intro, I said, I'm live. I got the livest family and the livest friend. That's true. Like I said, I met all the celebrities. It wasn't through the people you would think it would be through, like my my cousins that are celebrities that have been in like the music business. No, look at that. I'm just at the Waffle House after my birthday party and see my sister. And she's with Terrell Owens. And I'm a 49er fan. You know what I'm talking about? Come on, man. Come on. Let's go. Like I said, my life has just been blessed. A lot of people might not even, you know, however, however. But if you just watch these vlogs, you ain't gotta watch the vlog. Just go through the titles of each vlog. And you'll be like, man, this guy has seen a lot of stuff and did a lot of stuff. But we just get, we ain't even that deep into it yet, baby. You understand what I'm saying? And I already gave you two Hall of Famers. You know what I'm talking about? Come on, man. So, yeah, it was, uh, a crazy night. Yeah, man, we always did big. Me and uh, Pam had several parties that jumped off. We did, we, you know, yeah. Shout out to Pam, man. Shout out to Disco. Shout out to SF. You know who you are. I love you, girl. Uh, yeah, man. It was a good night. T.O. was a cool cat when we met him. He could have been standoffish. He could have, you know what I'm talking about. I damn near demanded the, the, the autograph. Get your autograph, nigga. <laughs> but you know, now there's a club on Atlanta Highway called Sharkies, right? Which is a uh, used to be a mixed club, you know what I'm talking about? It used to be like almost all white club at one time, and then you know, as soon as brothers find out there's a party, you know what I'm saying? We kind of used to turn it out, and, and it just it, the white folks leave and it'd be a, a ghetto club and be shootings and stabbings and all kind of stuff. So.
But before it got there, that's when I was going because I like the mix club scene. I like being part of other people than just us. You know what I'm talking about? They seem to be safer. That way, I'm saying, hey, bud, <laughs> let's party. <laughs> Funner, because you got, you know what I'm saying? It just seems to be a lot more entertaining. So, Shark is a spot where the you know, white boys be having the, 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 uh, the glow sticks, hypnotize themselves off the knee peel, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Dancing off the knee peel, you know what I'm talking about? And a uh, cool spot before they turned it out, you know what I'm talking about? So I went one night, man, I can't remember who I was with. I don't remember who I was with. It was a Saturday night though, I remember that. And then we were jumping, we was partying. Like I said, I rare went, rare, it was rare I went to a club by myself. Very rare. So I'm pretty sure I was with somebody, I just can't remember who it was. And uh, so inside Sharky, you know, had several rooms, a nice big club. Real nice big club. Little secret rooms, glow in the dark rooms. And, you know what I'm saying? But I like to position myself on this little, this little stage where the mirror was. It was like some little wood, little fences, kind of like. That squared it off, you know what I'm saying? You walk off the dance floor right there, it's like a step that big, get up on there. And it was about a good 10 by 15 foot area, a big old mirror. And I sat there because I knew that's where a lot of women gonna come, especially when they're by themselves, to dance and look in the mirror. Women love dancing and looking in the mirror at themselves. I think they visualize themselves with me, that's why they do it, in my opinion, but that's just my opinion. It always works sometimes. You know? And well, I'm glad I did, like I say, man. And stuff just come to me. Like I wasn't looking for the action, but the same chick my homeboy brought to my party. Well, our party, me and Pam party. I turned it out. I was giving everybody the cheeks, dancing, getting loose, that crunk up the party. Went from this to this. She was there. And when I tell you, looking, oh, oh, so sexy. Body dress on. Oh man. Just glowing. So, girl, don't be so she dancing up there, all sexy, so I'm okay. I'm trying to give me some of them cheeks, you know what I'm talking about? But what happened was, as I'm sitting there watching, you know what I'm saying, you got to scope stuff out first, you know, you got to scout it out. I'm a scout. So I'm watching, make sure everything good. She bends over and starts dancing. Dude walks up behind, you know, you're hearing from the south, boy. Girl, be pent though, you walk up with your hands up like, hey, I come in peace. I'm just trying to put my peace on you. You know what I'm talking about? And then your hands drop after the fact it's good, right? And then when it gets good, you pull your pants up and get low with them, right? But so I watched dude come in peace, put his thing on him. And she turns around, smooth though. She wasn't disrespectful, she smooth, she moved out the way, told him no, moved, kept dancing. So the first time she did, I said, ah, oh, she must have got a dude in here. So I remember how she's acting at our party. She 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 had I'm not saying she's a freak of them, but she liked to dance. And she don't mind the cheeks. So then another dude walked up. She did the same exact thing. She bent over, walk up behind her, and come in peace, and she moved. Like, I said, yeah, she definitely got to do it in here. So I'm sitting there chilling. I see I got to go plan B now. And, uh, like, it's so crazy. Because, look, the third time, or the fourth, there's several dudes that walked up to her because she bad. Dude walks up to her. She bent over. And as soon as he get up on her, her boyfriend walking up from the front. So the dude behind her, she bent over this way, don't see her boyfriend coming. Don't even see the dude behind her either, because he ain't touched her yet. The boyfriend walk up, just, just that, you know, bad timing, as they say. You know what I'm saying? So, he just fires up, slap shit out of him. Bah! Right? I was like, oh! And, and the dude that went in peace, nigga, he left in peace. Like, oh, shit. You know what I'm talking about? Okay, let's see what this is. Man, when I tell you, when he slapped that girl, oh my God. It wasn't the reaction I thought. I don't think it was the reaction he thought he was going to get. Because she jumped up and just put her things up, right? Immediately, pop. When she started, man, when I tell you, that girl whooped that nigga. I'm talking about. Whoop that trick, get him, whoop that trick, get him, whoop that trick. She looked like Roy Jones, like no, no lie. Like Roy Jones, she was throwing combinations. Got nothing to prove, stopping us a hot damn you. God in my cola, nigga can't lose, try to get me out my hot. Uppercut, she was ducking him, and, and that's all he got was that slap. 
He was trying to hit her back after she, but she was stinging. No exaggeration. I'm talking about hit him with at least 15 to 20 punches. From the body to the face. I'm talking about tore him up, right? So now he had his homeboys and she had her homegirl, right? So they kind of broke it up. So they still in that same little area I'm talking about. I'm still sitting right here. He right here. And she right here with her homegirls. And he talked to her boys, not even licking at her. You know what I'm talking about? Just like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Next thing you know, she came across that motherfucking stage. Boom! I thought she had punched him. But she had a razor in the hand right here. I'm talking about. Boom! Hit that nigga. And he was like, and before he get the word bitch, he said bitch, but before he get out, she hit his ass again. Boom! Same side. I said, oh, oh. I'm talking about deep budget. Swing that in there. Eh, eh. It was so crazy because they fought without nobody seeing, knowing they fought. She could have got away with it. She whooped him. I know he slapped you, but she was like, how dare you put your hands on me, nigga? Like, because she whooped him, but she couldn't let it go. So then she cut him bad several times. The first two, she was damn near cut his cheeks off his face. I'm talking about she came like running from the other side with all her might and just bam. Second one, bam. Then she was just bam, bam, bam. So dude trying to grab her and you know what I'm talking about? So the first two times she cut her, she could have left in. Still didn't leave. Just cut that nigga. So then security came, saw the commotion going down. She ended up cutting him. She cut herself like she went bonkers. Like I'm talking about, man, Tasmanian devil on him, right? Like 10 razors in his ass, man. He takes it out his ass. He give a nigga a buck 50 across his face, man. Blood everywhere, shit gushing. CO's not even coming, letting the whole shit go down, man. What's up? He ended up leaving in the ambulance. That's a weird word to say, ambulance. A lot of people have a hard time saying that word, ambulance. But he ended up leaving in the ambulance, and she ended up leaving in the police car. You know what I'm talking about? Handcuff. I don't know how many charges she got, because I know she cut the security, but she cut the hell out of him. New York people talking about buck fifty. Shit. She gave that nigga five dollars on one, then another five dollars. You better catch up, New York nigga, like French fries, but it was amazing. And like I said, I sat down, you know, people like, oh, that's nothing to brag about watching and witnessing. Huh? Ah, I beg to differ. <laughs> you the same people who watch the same stuff on TV and be interested. But now I'm telling you, I watched it live as a problem. If it's a problem. If it's a problem. Uh yeah, man. And I'm like, wow. And I, and I start thinking, is it is it is it is it the butt? Was it the powder that had it? Bobby Yowder, no baby powder. Same color red lock the clam chowder. Cause she was on one, like like man. She, he, he slapped the wrong one. So you, you, you fellas out there feel like y'all just wanna, you know, man up and slap women and think you tough? Cause obviously he ain't never slapped her before. Cause if he had slapped her before, he wouldn't have been slapping her this time with that response she gave. You know what I'm talking about? And uh, I'm pretty sure that was it for that, that relationship. And I guarantee you, if I see him again, I won't recognize his face or nothing. But I will recognize his face. Cause ain't no way he ain't scarred up. At least three. But two on the same side, bad in the mud. I'm talking about. What? What? And I'm thinking, like, how you take your eyes off when she over there with a whole bunch of hood girls? You know what I'm saying? You know one of them got something in there <laughs> with them. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? And boy, I wasn't lying, my nigga. She might have did two pockets, spit it out of her mouth. I don't know where the razor came from, but she had it. It's funny what you do pick up, though. And I didn't even see it at first. It's just like she punched him hard as hell, but that punch came with a cut. So just think about you punching a person as hard as you can with the momentum of you running over there and you got a razor in your hand when you're doing it. Oh my God. Amazing. Like, stuff like that. I see a lot of stuff like that. Like in person, just being in the right place at the right time for myself the wrong time for him. Kind of hurt too because she went to jail. I don't know what charges she was facing, but yeah.
I don't even know the girl's name, man. And I, and I said, I was about to try to get at her. I'm glad I didn't. I wasn't going to slap her, man, but you know. I used to, you know, play a little mind games and shit. She might cut me just for playing mind games. Told you how to, or my own girl slapped the hell out of me, so, hey. God showed me. God is trying to tell you something. God is trying to tell you something. Listen, you know what I'm talking about. Some people like that type of stuff. You might turn them on. It'll be like, oh, she cutting. Not me. Because I always look at myself. That could be me. Whatever situation, I might put that young lady in. I don't know how she's going to respond. I know she's going to respond to that slap like that. He didn't know she's going to respond to that slap like that. But boy, did she. And she's so sexy. And, and you just don't think it. Like she's just having a good time, partying, dancing to herself. And then they'll walk up like, Ike, you know what I'm talking about? Tough guy, you know what I mean? <laughs> I dare you. Then you ask no questions. No, like I said, she wasn't doing nothing. She was being very respectful. She was just dancing. And she's sexy. And she had sexy stuff on, so men were trying. And she was denying him. He just came before she could deny the dude that walked up. And she didn't know the dude was behind him. Damn, damn, bitch, how dare you disrespect me? Bah! I bet she was slapping there. What? What? That nigga, but, yeah, you know what it is, man.